we back. This is Sip and Discuss. And we have another Bush Babe here with us. I'm here with Miss Harley. Bush Babe and Bush Facilitator. Yeah. Now, what does that mean? Bush, Bush so Babe. So, I do everything in Bush Babe do. Um, and I also facilitate classes. Uh, I do bondage, I do rope play. Oh, yeah, she ties me up. I wide range of all things king. Um, I host the Fully Black Munch. It's the only POC munch, like a meet and greet here. That's for king education. Um, so yeah, I kind of do a lot. <laughs> but um, I teach uh, education here. Uh, I do my own classes here. And we do girls night. So y'all got to come out for a girls night. I book a girls night. So y'all got to. That's the one thing the Bush was like built on, like the girls night. So you know, you do girls night. And you have your game. You can book facilitators. You can book lead. You can book wanted. You can book anything you want to have in Enjoy your game night. Enjoy your girls' yes. night. Yes. That's what's up. So now you are going, you do, at this portion of the show, it's, it's 10 o'clock, you would be giving us our kink education yes. for pizza and porn. Yes. And tonight's topic is? Tonight's topic is going to be hard limits and soft limits. So explain that for us. So in kink, um, we do vetting, which is like getting to know people, kind of asking around, seeing if a person is reputable, and then like negotiations. So before you engage in any type of session, scene, play date, anything, you should have negotiations. Um, you should tell people what you like, what you don't like, your yes, your no. Um, your heart limit would be don't go past no, don't collect $200. Like, I don't want you to do it, you can't do it at all. If something happens to you that's a hard limit, it's a piece of violence. So a hard limit would be me sticking my fingers in a nigga ass. If he does not if he like says it. No. If he doesn't, if he doesn't like if it. He says no. If he start off like, you know, we going to play. That's I don't know what we going to do. Just don't stick your fingers in my ass. I don't do ain't no nothing. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. Okay. <laughs> That be going against his consent. And consent can be revoked at any time. Oh, for the niggas who think because you started and you said yes in the beginning, but then when you started and you like, nah, I'm not feeling it. Or the no. And it's not tipping, it's 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 and it's like, eh, you know what? I'm oh. not with you shit. But a bitch is like me that wants to get tipping. And then. <laughs> Any tip you stick I, in you anyway. If you stick the tip in, we definitely fuck it. I'm sorry. We I not, know, because we, we not, got to the tip in there. I mean, we not, we not are we play saying that the guys are saying no? It's not just the females. It's not just I'm talking about the tip of my finger. But it is, it is, it is men yeah. who say no as well. Yeah, I men that say no as well. We do definitely have to. Men say no. Men say yes. no. Just because they're dick yes. doesn't mean yes. Yes. Just Their body has a, a, a response Just that is not true. Just because my penis gets hard does not mean you can do it. Respectfully, respectfully, I have never met a nigga that says no. Respectfully. I have. I've never. I've had a nigga tear me down. He said because I was too drunk and he would not sleep with me. And he said oh. because I was too drunk and I wouldn't remember it in the morning. And, and he, he wanted to remember it. Yes. He was like, you won't call me again. And guess what happened? <laughs> We never slept together yeah. because when I sobered up, I was like, "Yeah, I'm that definitely wrong, not sleeping that was with the him." Wrong thing to me. <laughs> you said when you yeah. sobered up, you said you wasn't sleeping. Definitely with him. not sleeping with him now. So it was only drunk sex. Just, it definitely was. It was I've drunk never drunk been sex. drunk where I've been like, I want to fuck somebody that I wouldn't normally want to fuck. I was drunk and I asked him to come pick me up, and I was like, nah, "I'll fuck him," but no. this is certain. Um, soft limits. Soft limits are things that you would try. Even though at this time it may be, it may not be a no. So like if somebody eased you into something, it's like okay, we're gonna take it slow. Um, not not coercion. Okay, so like floggers are made of all different materials. Um, rubber floggers are like the hardest. It's like if that's the hit that you gonna feel the most. So you might try suede floggers. You might try power cord floggers, cotton floggers. You might say rubber floggers are a soft limit. I may not really want to try that at this time, but three times after. I want to try it. So it's not something that you're just saying no to 100%. It's something that down the line could be a yes. That's how I felt when I had my scene with Sir Lisa. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was just, I think it's because he's a Scorpio, like the, another water sign, but I just felt like, even though I was like, stop, but I was at the out, I, I mean, it was a soft, everything was It wasn't soft, a real soft. stop. Yeah, so we got, we got. That really wasn't real. It wasn't real. It wasn't real. real stop. Stop. Like that, that kind of would describe what I was going to Yeah, like, like, like I wanted like to try 
Yeah. It's like a check in on me. Hey, hey, hey. Let's hey, take two minutes. Come here real quick. Yeah. I'm doing I okay. think if we would have been alone, it would have been more of a. A go. Go, 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 go. So it, right. Okay, so right. that's why you negotiate too. Because you have to know your cues. Like, you got to know what means to check in. So, like, I operate off, off the stoplight system. Green means go. You don't usually have to ever give out your green. Yellow means chill for a second. See how I'm doing. Like, come to so you me. Mean, so, you do you say yellow? You I mean, if yellow. I'm able to say yellow or if, my, if the person who bought them is able to say yellow. But I'm like this real sadistic person, so you might not be able to say it, you might have to do a hand signal, and I'm going to have to tell you what yellow means, and show you like what hand signal means, then red is just like red, you might just drop something that's it. completely stop, yeah, so that red would be like the hard limit, like the no to stop the everything completely, like don't go past yellow, um, okay. and anybody who go against your no, like no is a statement, it's a sentence, it's everything, like no is just it's a no. complete sentence, so, I also heard that in in this lifestyle, in this community, because it is a community, it's a community, and black people are really it's a real big in this community. It's actually a real nice black community. Um, yes. Not too much up here. New York is really good. Denver is amazing. They have the best dungeons and play spaces. But I heard that if someone was to violate those rules, mm -hmm. that they would be like banned. Like from dungeons and... If a person is to violate someone's consent, they are supposed to be banned. From like the circuit of parties, depending on what your violation is. So your violation could be because you're not well educated. So you may not ever be banned from a munch because that's where you're going to get your education from. Okay, got you. You probably can go to classes because that's where you're going to get your education from. You may not be able to go to a party without somebody going with you or somebody vouching for you. Okay. Because you violated somebody's consent and you didn't listen. So that's like you're on punishment. Now, we got a person who kind of go against rules in every which way. Like, every like which way they just like go to the fuck against the grain. And they still want... They were from them, and they go against the grain. And they been from everything. Like, God, and whoever supports them is a person who don't support. If, they, if that person can go to that party, like if it's a promoter that's like, oh, all right, such and such and come in, they know how to be in, listen, I'm not going here. You can't have my money. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. We and got I play spaces that right. being people. So like, if I had a party there, they can't get in that play space even if I wanted them to come. Okay. So the space is being I love this community because it's judgment free. I felt so much good energy the first time that I was here. And I feel like, right, it is the vibe. And the one thing that I realized is like that we all have different needs. Like, I don't care how, I mean, you could be, I think my mama got a kid. And even like, though everybody got a kid. And the thing is, is, the thing is about everybody kink. Everybody got a kink. The thing is about kink is, we like to think that what we do is normal. But right. to somebody else, what we think is normal is something that's so far-fetched that they would never even fancy. But I, but that's yeah. one of the reasons that I like this community is because it's like whatever your key is, we welcome it. We're not gonna make you feel bad about it. No, like, well, you, can, you can do it. People will watch you. People won't watch you. Yeah, you are being you a can voyeur. Be, yeah. You want to be a voyeur? Because remember when we, when we did the when we, we did the scene with what? When he does, I like calling him Les. <laughs> <laughs> That's his new name. Maybe because I love That's his new name. Maybe because I love That's his new name. I don't know. I just like Maybe because I love That's his new name. That's his new name. That's his new name. But anyway, when 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 I did my scene with uh with him, I didn't know that I thought back assing was a part of everybody's sex. Like getting beat on your ass and shit. Like a spanking? Yes. I thought that was normal. I thought everybody I thought all oh, women like to get you right. Baby level. 
side shit. I don't do side shit. I don't do side shit either. Listen, I don't want to be fuck up. I don't want them. I'm just saying, if you feel comfortable enough, if you feel like you're side, no, do not come to my shit because if you fucking get into a fight and my shit, I'm gonna be fucking mad. We have security. Stay your side ass in the fucking house. Stop worrying about that. This is our third time. This is we do have security. This is our third time inviting side bitches to the fucking event. Side bitches pay money too. Side bitches got money. Yeah, I'm just saying. Oh, she must be a side bitch. She was a side bitch. I got a lot of side bitches. I don't want them at my event. I don't give a fuck. Because I'm not. I'm saying as long as the bitch, the, the, the bitch that you be in a side. Just don't. If you come, if you come. No judgment zone. If you come to the event, shut the fuck up. Just, but I'm not, not hurt. I just don't want that part. To be seen, not not hurt. hurt. That's what it is. Exactly. That's why I could never be a it's side bitch. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly.